Okay, so uh, I want to just talk a little bit more about section one, chapter one, and uh, in particular, spend a little bit of time on set builder notation, which is uh, introduced in the middle of the class, in the middle of the section, and it's a way to build sets using formulas and logic and so forth. And um, I want to point out some of the uh, tricky points of that. So um, just a quick reminder from the textbook that um, set builder notation, it, one way to think of it is it's a way to make sets out of other sets. And it looks like this. Um, it has the curly braces to say that you're defining a set, and it has a colon, and on the left-hand side of the colon, it has some expression. So here, it, I mean, I, I've written x is in z, so the expression is x is an integer. And on the right-hand side, you have a condition or a formula or a rule. And in this case, the rule is x is bigger than or equal to 0. Um, it's probably more consistent with the way the book does it to write it this way, where I'm looking at the set of things x that satisfy the rule that they're integers and they're bigger than or equal to 0. Let me put an and in there so that everything is absolutely clear. So what is this set A? Well, it's the set of integers that are bigger than or equal to 0. And if we were going to list those things, we, we could write them as 0, 1, 2, dot, dot, dot. Um, and as I've written here, A is the set of integers that are greater than or equal to 0. Here's another example of a set that's written in set builder notation. And it's a little bit different because um, um, it, this, the way to read this is it's, it's the set of things of the form 2n, where n is an integer. Um, so what does that mean? Well, it means that something is in E if it's, of the form, if it's equal to 2 times n, where n is an integer. So an element, so A is in E if A equals 2n for some integer n. So first of all, if a is 2n for some integer n, a is an integer. a is an integer because it is 2 times an integer. But not every integer is 2 times an integer. Um, so for example, 1 is not in E because 1 is not equal to 2 times an integer for some integer. And in fact, uh, this is a, a way of writing, E is a way of writing the even numbers. E is minus, let's use dot, dot, dots, minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2, 4, 6, and so forth. It's the set of even numbers because the even numbers, the even integers, are exactly the even integers that are of the form 2 times another integer. So uh, in general, set builder notation looks like an expression with a rule. And it's a way of saying everything of the form equal to the expression that satisfies the rule. So you can do quite a lot with this set builder. One thing you can do is you can make intervals in the real numbers, and there's even some abbreviations for this. So let's look, let's just look at a few of these. This is in the book, I think it's on page seven. But for instance, let's look at the very first one. So this says that the writing a b with curly with parentheses, this is equal to the set of real numbers which are bigger than a and less than b. So if we were going to draw this on the real line using sort of calculus type notation we would have a and we would have b and we would take everything in between but we would omit the endpoints so it's this interval here uh, this is of course assuming that b is bigger than a what if b were less than a well then this would be the empty set because there wouldn't be any elements that are bigger than a and less than b. Let's look at another example. The, the, the rule here is that when you have a square bracket, you use bigger than or equal to, and when you have a curly bra a parentheses, you use just bigger than or less than. So this one here, 
This is the set of real numbers which are bigger than or equal to a and less than or equal to b. So if we were going to draw that picture here, this time we would include the endpoints a and b. And then you can see that you can mix these. You can put a parentheses on one side and a square bracket on the other. You use infinity to mean that you just take everything. So infinity to a, if here's the real line, this should be minus infinity, by the way. This should be plus infinity. Sorry about that. So here's minus infinity. Here's a. This interval means everything up to a but not including it. And we know it's not including it because it doesn't include a because the parentheses here means you take less than. So these intervals are examples of sets that you can make using set builder notation. But um, there's a lot more uh, two-set builder notation than that, and um, so I'm going to do a couple of examples in the next video.